One is 40 and one is 27. What? Yeah. <laughs> 40? You have a four-year-old child? I do. What is your skincare routine? <laughs> <laughs> It's Kara Dixon, and today I'm joined with Herb Jones. Now, can you tell me what you're running for? I'm running for the third Senate district here in Virginia. Retired veteran, retired soldier. Uh, I served 30 years uh, total in the, in the Army. Um, two tours in Iraq. I was um, also the county treasurer in Newton County. I'm a husband, father, two sons, and a grandson. Um, I, I, I would describe myself as fairly easygoing. Um, but passionate about what I believe in. I'm running because, uh, number one, to bring integrity back to this seat in this office. And uh, the, the, the main reason I got into this was because of healthcare. I felt like uh, with the Affordable Care Act, uh, not taking advantage of it and forfeiting $12 billion in, in uh, federal funds, I just didn't think that was smart. And I, I didn't understand why we did it. And so that's the, that's the main reason, that's the catalyst for me getting involved. Um, and then after I got involved, I learned some other things as well. Called up after 9-11, and I did some Homeland Security stuff here. Uh, the second time I called up, I went to Iraq for two tours. And uh, that was uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. I, I was in charge of logistics for the entire um, Iraqi theater. Okay. and. It, it was a different kind of war because most folks that were injured or killed were on convoys. I was on a number of convoys myself. We had some close calls. First question, what is the biggest uh, issue that the Commonwealth is facing? The biggest issue that we're facing right now is lack of economic opportunity. Um, and, and I can give you some examples of that. Uh, Danville, for example, Danville, Martinsville, when they had textiles and furniture, they were very prosperous and they were booming. Uh, we, we see this going on also in Southwest Virginia with, with the lack of coal or coal mines going out of business. So um, I think the biggest uh, challenge that we're facing right now is lack of economic opportunity. And we need to be creative in providing uh, opportunities for folks across the Commonwealth. If elected, what would you hope to, to get accomplished? First and foremost is bring integrity back to the office. We don't have that right now. Um, Politicians should not use their position to enrich themselves or take care of their friends. It should be about the, the, the greater good of everybody. So that's the first thing is integrity. And um, as a follow-on to that, our, our taxes, our tax system needs to be reformed. We need to, we need to overhaul the tax system. Um, we need affordable health care for everybody in the Commonwealth. We need universal childhood, uh, uh, universal early childhood education. Um, that, that is equivalent or on the same par as Montessori uh, type of, uh, of education. Um, we need to reduce gun violence and suicides. And lastly, we need to uh, incentivize renewable energy initiatives. Uh, there, there's there's a, a long list of things that need to be done, but those are just a, a couple of things that we need to, uh, a few things we need to work on. You know, what, what can people, Virginians do to make the Commonwealth better? Vote. People gotta vote. Um, you know, with the current leadership we have in the General Assembly, if we continue to keep these people in, nothing's going to change. So people need to get out and vote. Um, we need to change the leadership in the Senate and in the House and in the folks that chair our certain finance committees. People have got to vote. If they want change, um, they need to vote. And, and, and what happens this year sets the stage for next year. I'm sure people are seeing what's going on on TV right now and the, and the example or lack of uh, example that we have right now uh, coming out of DC. So folks have got to vote. Six, six. Mm -hmm. You're the tallest person we've interviewed so far. Okay. Yeah, I'm by four. Really? So. She went like... taller than that. <laughs> but you're like my dad's height. My dad is six, five. So. Okay, okay. What is your favorite home-cooked meal? 
You know, I like holiday meals. Thanksgiving. Um, if I could have a Thanksgiving meal once a week, that'd be that'd be perfect. I'd be happy. But that's my favorite meal. When you were growing up, what did you think you were going to be? I had a very active imagination. I wanted to be an astronaut, and then I wanted to be a lawyer. And then as I started to play sports, I wanted to be a professional athlete. I knew it was going to be the football, basketball. And I kind of, uh, you know, uh, thought I'd be a basketball player. Uh, and I actually got a basketball scholarship to Appalachian State University. And a after I got there and practice started, I realized I needed to hit the books real hard because I, was just, I just wasn't good enough. I was a very good high school player, not a very good, well, maybe average college player. So, um, so I, I had I had some of those. Those are some of the things I wanted to be growing up. If you could meet anyone in history, who would it be and why? Nelson Mandela. Um, you know, to to look at his life, you know, the 90 plus years he lived and everything he went through, and for him to come out of prison after 26 years and not be bitter and still, you know, be willing to sacrifice and move his country forward. Um, I just, I would, I would love to just be in his aura for an hour, a couple hours, just to learn as much as I could, could can or could from him. Um, I just, uh, in the modern era, I really admire him a great deal. Uh, Don't smoke. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Don't smoke. Work out. Are you one of those vegans? I'm not a vegan. <laughs> Keto. Keto, oh, that's a secret. You know, they say that every year in Virginia, we have elections and they say every year, uh, the people need to get out and vote. And again, how we do this year sets the stage for next year. And I think, I think that's the most important thing. Too many people sacrifice for us not to take advantage of that, of the right to vote.